As inside our body, everything is well regulated. So the synthesis of the insulin and the release of the insulin is. Like you have seen that how step by step insulin is synthesized in, inside the uh, nucleus, uh, sorry, inside the ribosome, inside the rough endoplasmic reticulum and in the Golgi operators. Just like that, there is a proper mechanism through which the insulin is, is released from the granules to the blood. So that's we are going to uh, see here that what is the stimulus or uh, how the stimulus is going to cause the release of insulin. As we know that they, when there is the glucose inside the blood or there is high level of amino acid, the insulin will be released. But how the signal will be transmitted or what is the mechanism behind this stim uh, stimulate, stimulation of the release of insulin. So basically, just look at this uh, structure. This is the structure of the beta cell. So you can say that this is the beta cell that consists of a nucleus, rough endoplasmic reticulum, and Golgi operators. Now, there are uh, the glucose transporters that are present on the surface of these cells. There are specialized potassium channel, potassium gated channels through which the potassium influx and efflux takes place. And then there are the calcium channels through which the calcium influx and efflux takes place. Now, what happens that when the level of the glucose is high or when uh, the glucose is released inside the body, what happens that? This glucose entered uh, the cell beta cells through the, this glucose transporter. When it enters the cells, there are a uh, number of changes that takes place. First of all, the, it is converted into the glucose 6-phosphatase, phosphate. Now, this glucose 6-phosphate is then used in the um, glycolysis. Through the glycolysis, the pr product that is produced, it enters the citric acid cycle, and then the oxidative phosphorylation takes place. Now, this, the purpose of all of these things, the glycolysis, the uh, citric acid cycle, and the oxidative phosphorylation, is ultimately the production of energy. So the ATP is produced. Now, when the level of the ATP is high inside the body, what happens is that the potassium uh, efflux is stopped. The potassium cannot move out from the beta cells. Now, when this influx, uh, sorry, this efflux is decreased, what happens that the potassium influx increases due to the decreased hyperpolarization. The potassium cannot move out, the hyperpolarization is decreased and the calcium will move inside the cells. Now when the calcium will move inside the cell, what will it do? It will cause the release of insulin from the Golgi operators due to the hyperpolarization. When, the, when there is uh, the release of the insulin uh, from the Golgi operators, then the granules will move out from the cells and then enters the blood. So that's how uh, the uh, insulin is regulated and enters the blood. Vice versa takes place in the case uh, when the glucose level is low. When the level of the glucose uh, will be low, a low amount of the glucose will be converted into the glucose 6-phosphate, the glycolysis, citric acid cycle. All of these things will be, uh, at a, will be at a low speed, low energy will be produced and uh, the, there will be the efflux of potassium, hyperpolarization, potassium, uh, calcium level will, will be decreased in the cell and the insulin will stay in the granules and it will be not released. So uh, basically it is the high calcium level that is causing the release of the insulin from the granules. So that's uh, here, uh, the insulin is synthesized from the ribosomes of the beta cells and then released into the blood. So summarizing uh, everything that we have studied, the insulin is released from, in, uh, the insulin is synthesized in the beta cells of the pancreas and there are the three steps of the insulin synthesis. The formation of the pre-proinsulin, proinsulin and the insulin. And uh, pre-proinsulin is formed in the ribosomes, uh, then it enters the, uh, the endoplasmic reticulum where proinsulin is formed and then there is the formation of the insulin in the uh, mature insulin in the Golgi operators and then there is the glucose that produce in it, the, uh, basically the ATP and cause uh, decrease in hyperpolarization and entry of the potassium inside the cell that then cause the, the release of these granules inside the blood. So that was all about the synthesis of insulin.
Now, if you want to learn uh, more about about different topics, you can visit our website. And also to facilitate you, we have just launched our apps uh, that can be accessed uh, in the uh, Android and the iOS as well. So just uh, go to your Play Store, Google Play Store or App, app Store, where you can download these application and uh, learn the different topics of medicine easily.